Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome you back to Planet Zoo and our franchise mode Let's Play. We're gonna dive right back into Elite Zoo South. As we do so though, there's just one quick thing that I would love to address right off the bat, and that is the current difficulty. Now, we've been playing on hard mode since we started Elite Zoo South, and it's been an interesting challenge, I would say at least, uh, from start right up until now. We had some money struggles from time to time, keeping guests happy is a much more prevalent factor in this harder difficulty than it ever was at Elite Zoo North. Um, it, it's, it's been a lot of fun, it, for me at least, I think, uh, with the, I think, I know, for me it's been fun to try and manage those things because with Elite Zoo North we didn't really have to care about guest happiness as much outside of a little bit of litter here and there. Uh, it, it's, it's been a bit more of an involved process. But, with that said, I saw in the comments of the previous episode, quite a few of you were suggesting that maybe it's time to finally dial it down to medium. Um, and I see where that's coming from. We've uh, more or less overcome all of the challenges of hard difficulty. Financially, we saw some struggles last session, but we overcame those within a handful of minutes, really, so that's not really a problem. When it comes to guest happiness, we are pretty quick to respond to that. That, that remains... A, a, a decent challenge, I would say, from time to time, whenever we introduce a new space, uh, I do have to look more into why guests are unhappy and what we can do to counteract that unhappiness. So that remains an interesting challenge in, in hard mode, because again, with low guest satisfaction, there is less money being made, um, which was, you know, which was the issue last session. Uh, so I, I, I still enjoy that challenge. Um, but I saw many of the comments bring up the whole enrichment item thing where, you know, guests, or sorry, not guests, but the, uh, the animals get bored more quickly and so we have to deal with their enrichment items more often. Um, with regards to that, I mean, last session, of course, we focused on management, which is why maybe it felt a little, uh, uh overwhelmingly, okay, avert your eyes, we're gonna turn the lights on here. Oh, wow, that was... I tried to find a bright spot so it wouldn't be super, you know, uh, like a huge change, but that uh, did very little for us. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Right. So last session, we ended up doing a lot of enrichment stuff, which is maybe why it felt so tedious. But just as a reminder, it's been, uh, I feel like it's been like maybe 10 episodes since we've done, uh, you know, gone through and, and, and dealt with enrichment items and things like that. So uh, that's, that's besides the point. Well, what I wanted to talk about, though, was, uh, well, how do y'all feel? What, what do you think, uh, by and large, about the uh, switching of difficulty. I could honestly probably go either way at this stage because again, we have overcome most of the major challenges when it comes to uh, you know finances and, and getting the, uh, the zoo started up and getting all this established. So all the major challenges have been dealt with and by switching to medium difficulty, we won't have to do as much management as often, I suppose, when it comes to enrichment. Now my case against that, I suppose. I don't want to put it that way because, I, again, I could go on either side of the fence, but I want to present both sides so you can, you know, you can make an informed decision when you let me know what you think. But uh, so on, on one side, we would still have to manage the animals when it comes to things like inbreeding, when it comes to things like, uh, you know, when they get old, when they die, etc, etc, all that kind of stuff. We'd still have to manage the animals then. And basically what ended up happening last session was I saw a lot of... Um, overcrowding notifications and that's what made me go all right let's do some management and while we're doing this management let's go ahead and deal with enrichment um so the only thing going down to medium difficulty would change is that we wouldn't have to do enrichment when uh, when doing all that other management stuff and it would also make other things a bit easier like we wouldn't have to care so much about guest satisfaction guests won't be refunding their tickets uh taking some of that challenge away which i mean is it even a challenge anymore? I mean, if we take a look at our financial statements, I suppose, um, you know, we, we are seeing guest um, refunds basically every year. It is costing us, you know, not an insignificant amount of money, but is it enough to consider it a challenge? Mm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And that's why I turn to you, as I often do, because after all, uh, it's it's about, obviously, I'm, I'm trying to have a good time over here, but since I would have a good time with either difficulty mode, uh, I also want to make sure that y'all are having a good time too. So let me know what you think. I will most likely, almost definitely, uh, have a poll pinned uh, in the well, in the pinned comment rather down below. Uh, so let me know um, 
If you don't care, then let me know that as well. I'll probably have a little third option if, if you don't care. But if you feel strongly about one way or the other, do let me know because I don't mind changing now. We, we can proudly say that we've overcome the challenges and at this point we're just doing it so that we can uh, enjoy more of the, uh, you know, construction and, and decorative elements of the game rather than being bogged down by, you know, things like people being upset at litter that they probably threw on the ground, <laughs> though they will still be doing that. Uh, bad example. Anyway, uh, that's all I think I have to say on that point. Um, again, uh, thank you all for your feedback in the comments. I do read it all, even if it comes in late, even if it comes in after I record a session, uh, you know, uh, even if it's months later, I do read all the feedback and I try to act on it as much as possible, um, you know, as, as long as it's uh, reasonable and something I can act on. For example, if, you, if your feedback is, hey, party, uh, record 48 hours of Planet Zoo every day, then obviously I, I can't act on that. <laughs> but I think that should go without saying. Uh, nonetheless, do keep it all coming because, again, some of these conversations wouldn't be, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't even think about changing difficulty after last session. Uh, but many of you pointed out that maybe it's worth thinking about. And so I, again, throw it out to everybody because I would like to hear everyone's opinions and kind of get a, let's, let's call it a pseudo-democratic uh, process going uh, because... While the votes don't make the final decision, they help me make the final decision based on what people are, you know, saying or thinking or feeling. Um, did you? I, I like that shot a lot. That felt like a like a drone, you know, filming for uh, filming. For, I'm never gonna be able to recreate it, but that felt like a drone filming for a for a commercial. Um, much like the uh, the shot from up over here. One day I might actually make a commercial for the uh, for the Elite Zoo franchise, uh, just to get. Um, I don't know, just just to scratch that itch that I've had for a little while with our with our two zoos. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's all I had to touch on as far as difficulty is concerned. But on the topic of difficulty, uh, it has been pointed out to me. I always do this. I've been playing this game for almost a full year. Several hours every other day. And I still always want to click on the entrance to adjust pricing. I will never break this habit, I fear. Uh, but no, I meant to go here. And again, on the topic of feedback, it's been pointed out to me that I have not adjust uh, the zoo uh, ticket pricing in a very long time. Uh, so let's actually check what people have to say about the pricing. Ticket price is fair. Oh, interesting. Interesting, really? I would, you know what, much like the uh, comment suggested, I would very much expect people would be more than happy to pay a bit more. Uh, but I, I guess they still only find it fair. Fair enough. Uh, I will add more animals very soon, and that way we can up the ticket price and hopefully they never have to worry about money again. Um, that's, I think, all I have to uh, ramble on about as far as the introduction is concerned. Lots of stuff to take care of today. I really want to kick things off with a time lapse. And uh, hopefully over the course of the rest of the session, we'll be able to make more of a contribution to this um, eat your veggies challenge we're only 61 percent of the way there i wonder how many of y'all are able to uh contribute or how many of y'all have been able to participate in this uh would be great to to, to see us hit that 100 percent marker it's herbivores there's so many of them uh hopefully with today's session we'll we'll make a, a fair bit of progress though um because I, I would like to not just get awards um for myself but also you know it, it, like i said it's, it's fun being involved in this kind of stuff a anyway I, I say i'm done rambling and then i start again but Y'all are familiar with that by now. I think it's time to just dive on into our time lapse. We're going to start at night so I can do a bit of a lighting pass. Uh, and also, well, again, it's it's everything I talked about previously. Not going to belabor the point, folks. It's time lapse time. All right, folks, I am super pleased with this time lapse. And I hope you all are as well because we get a fair bit accomplished. Uh, more or less everything I set out to do, I, I end up managing to do, which is a rarity. <laughs> first order of business is the sponsor boards and the first uh, addition to the sponsor boards is over at the Jaguars. Once again, we have a brand new sponsor in Josephine Poirier. Now I want to mention on that note, preemptively, if I butcher any name pronunciations, as always, folks, I am extremely sorry. Feel free to correct me in the comments down below. I will try and get better at it as I always do. Uh, but that is our first sponsor for the Jaguars. Our next sponsor board is actually a brand new one for the Titan Beetles, uh, setting up a small little uh, in encasing over here for the uh, uh, for the information panel. It's what we did at Elite Zoom North as well. It felt like the right spot to have the uh, sponsor boards added for uh, uh, for the uh, exhibits. And so, if, if more people are looking to sponsor exhibit animals, feel free to let me know. They are totally they're not off limits or anything. 
uh, of course, they deserve their, you know, sponsors as well. So our uh, first and I think only, yeah, our only sponsor for an exhibit animal uh, in today's time lapse is Jacqueline Britt. And as you can see, I thought the bamboo would work a lot better than it originally did. So I just have to make a couple of uh, adjustments over here. Uh, just, you know, tweaking the, the, the rope around a little bit and then also actually having to build a better... Uh, better backing for it. Now you'll notice, by the way, I put space bars. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I put space bars on either side of the actual name to reduce the size of the font or otherwise expand the size of the font to make it fit the space nicely. Uh, if you're wondering what I, you know, how I adjust the type size, uh, that's how I go about doing it. Um, but yeah, just kind of finishing touches over here. Using that bamboo aesthetic that we've got going on at, uh, you know, Camp Capuchin and of course in the greater, you know, enclosure as well. Uh, but of course, obviously having to establish some new visual elements to make the uh, the signboards and stuff work. Uh, over to Simba Kiburi, where the Lions also receive some new uh, sponsors as well. The first sponsors for the Lions are being added in today. And you can see I was sort of, again, some of you will know already, some of you might not, but I am extremely unfamiliar with the Africa pieces because Elitsu South is going to be my first time exploring um, African... Um, African animals and as a result African uh, you know construction I mean I did it during a time lapse you know way back when the game first released but that was well before I'd grown familiar with you know building pieces and stuff uh, that was my like three three clever ways or three interesting ways to build uh, build enclosures or, or whatever it was I added a, a hippo and I forget now but but anyway this is my first time exploring you know pieces from the Africa uh, portion of the game so that was a lot of fun just seeing uh, what we could or could not work with I, I'm re I really find myself relying on the Australia pieces, especially the Australia signboard, like the editable text signboard pieces. Uh, very happy with how versatile those pieces are, and you will see me using those. But I thought it'd be really cool for these sponsor boards to have uh, not only the decorative elements from the Africa pieces, but also, especially in the case of the line, we have this really beautiful, you know, it looks like chalk art. Uh, it's similar to like sand art kind of stuff. Uh, so I thought it'd be really nice to have that be a part of... Uh, uh, of, the, of the sponsor boards and so first up we have brandy lee over here again using that australia editable sign uh to uh, look at look how versatile it is look how I, I love it um but yeah brandy lee is our first sponsor uh for the lions um i wish actually now that i look at this i wish the uh the art had lions and lionesses and it's going to be another case of i wish every animal had the same treatment because uh it looks it looks so nice and i really like what it does as a uh you know as a sponsor board i suppose uh, we will make some more adjustments to it in just a moment after I finish adding the uh, other sponsors on here as well. Bethany Shane coming in to sponsor the Lions at Elite Zoo South as well. I want to mention too, by the way, at this point in time, if I have by any chance missed your request to uh, sponsor an animal, uh, let me know in the comments again. I know for a fact, and I'll touch on why when I get there, but I know for a fact that I have... Uh, overwritten my old notes it's such a silly mistake to make but from time to time everyone's allowed a couple silly mistakes right uh but uh I, I know for a fact that i'm missing at least one name because of a mistake on my end uh which i will mention today but if i've missed someone else's as well feel free to let me know in the comments down below so i can rectify that mistake uh as soon as possible uh and i hope you understand uh and, and accept my apologies in making that mistake i try to stay on top of it as much as possible but Sometimes it's uh, it is hard. It gets difficult to kind of you know stay on top of everything all at once. So uh, my my sincerest apologies. Uh, back over here to the koalas now. Uh, quite a few uh, koala sponsors. I was trying to figure out exactly what I wanted their thing to look like. We have a lot of there's a lot of ideas for this area in my head, which I haven't been able to uh, express yet. But I haven't been able to kind of build uh, those elements out yet um so I, I have a vision in my head and and it maybe doesn't match what's already out right now but trust me or i mean i hope you can trust me in that it'll end up working out great i hope it ends up working out great i think it will based on what i have in mind for the space uh and if it doesn't then we might go in and adjust what these sponsor boards look like uh but first off we have Leia von essen our first sponsor for the koalas today did i say koala bear earlier i I, I, might, I might have made that mistake. I, I know it's not technically correct, by the way, but it is, you know, it's uh, it's so commonly said out, out and about in the world that uh, 
it's an easy mistake to, to adopt, and I try to avoid it as much as possible. Uh, but yeah, cute little sculptures for our koalas over here. So first off, like I said, Leia Von Essen, then our next koala sponsor, just gonna adjust this and try and try and get a bit of like symmetry going as much as possible. Uh, we've got Lucy Meg as our second sponsor for the koalas. And then number three, we have, in just a moment's time, their name's gonna pop up, we have Lauren and Jojo. Now here is where I made a mistake. There is another sponsor for koalas. Javon, I am sorry that it slipped my mind. It's because of my mishap with the notes, but I've written it down in all caps now. I will not forget to do it. Uh, in the next session, I will drop your sponsor board down as well. My apologies, but again, folks, if I have forgotten yours, please don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, I don't mind it. It, it. it just helps me stay organized, and I hope you all understand. Uh, moving on from the sponsor boards, though, that's everything from Elite Zoo South. We have one request from Elite Zoo North as well, but I think I'll do that one uh, next month. I try to do uh, I try to do one per person per month, uh, just to help spread the love as I as I try to like to, well, I, I like to do. Um, but yeah, I, I will I will try and integrate that. I should be able to integrate that next month when we uh, add even more sponsor boards. Wow, I got a lot done this time lapse. I'm like having a hard time keeping up with my own self seeing myself do the work. It's like, I'm already, I'm still talking about the previous subject here, man. Slow down, party. Um, anyway, as you may have noticed while I was talking about uh, the sponsor board uh, struggle, let's call it that, I replaced the hello sign to say good day instead. By and large, the most popular suggestion in the comments when I asked if there was a more suitable Australianism, if you will, for hello, and good day seemed to be the go-to. Um, many also pointed out that good day also works at, now it's starting to not sound like a word anymore when I say it, uh, but many have also pointed out that it's also, it's, it's, it, it's equally hello and goodbye. Uh, so what I might actually try and do, I didn't, didn't tackle it today because I wanted to work on wayfinding, but what I might actually try and do is I might try and build uh, the good day sign on the reverse as well, so that either coming in or going out, uh, it's you know, good day and good day. I, if that's accurate, that's what I remember from the comments. I'm pretty sure I have it right, but if I don't, then again, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, as I always say, uh, because uh, you know, there's always room to adjust and course correct, um, and, and there's always room for improvement. Uh, now. On the topic of room for improvement, we are improving upon our wayfinding system, by which I mean we are actually putting more time and work into it. Uh, finally adding the path to Africa using the color green. I got a lot of suggestions, but using the color green because that is actually the color of the African Union, I believe is the name of the African Union? Union of Africa? Ooh, I forget the official name now. Union of African Nations. Oh. Oh no. Well, I can't remember right now, but green is the color of the flag. It is basically just all green, and it has the uh, the continent as an illustration on that uh, on that flag. So that's where I'm pulling that green from. It's slightly uh, it's it, it's slightly more of a neon green, uh, if I'm not mistaken, than the green on the flag because I feel like that just adds a bit of punchiness to it, adds a bit more vibrance to it. Uh, but yeah, you can see we've got this, because again, you can get to Africa from either side, so we've got that going where the path splits, and I really like how that looks. I'm actually, I'm very, very satisfied with how the wayfinding looks now that it's all coming together. Um, really exciting times, and I actually show it a bit more after the time lapse as well from, from top down. I just feel like it, uh, it, it, it's exactly what I'd envisioned when I first talked about it at Elite Zoo North. Um, now here for Australia, we are going with gold, Australia's national colors, at least as far as my research has gone, again, feel free to correct me, uh, are green and gold. Uh, when I think of Australia, the first color that comes to mind for me is the gold, primarily because of the uh, <laughs> the cricket team's uniform, not gonna lie. Uh, so I went with the gold there, and, and again, I, I, I double checked uh, it is the it is one of the national colors, so I felt like that works nicely as well. Um, and I know it might like a lot of the suggestions were saying that oh maybe we do like yellow for Africa because you know like the Sahara and the desert and this that and uh, very you know very very viable suggestions. But I was like um, sorry very viable suggestions. Uh, but I was also looking at other opportunities or a less predictable or or less uh, less assumed opportunities that we could talk about. As always, you know, I'm looking for things to be like, hey, did you guys know that this was a thing? So, for example, 
If only I could... The African Union. I'm pretty sure it's the African Union. Um, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> top-down view, uh, just to show off like how it, how it looks overall with our gold, green, and blue. Uh, gotta get the, um, the, the, the pathfinding working in both directions, obviously, as you saw me doing for, uh, you know, up and down this path over here for Australia on the right side, now on the left side, doing it for South America as well, getting this all turned to blue, getting everything, you know, all those little bulb lights in properly, so they look like little arrowheads, but, uh, yeah, a, a lot of work. We finally made progress on, uh, on on things that we've been sitting on for a while. I hope you all enjoyed that. But uh, that is the crux of today's time lapse. We got those spon sponsor boards in. We got the lighting in. We got, well, some of the lighting in. And, of course, the wayfinding as well. But now, back to regular speed. All right, folks, we are back from the time lapse. And I got to say, I'm really quite happy about that one. We've been, you know, <laughs> holding off on a couple of those things for a very long time and it's all finally in place and uh, I mean obviously with something like pathfinding it will continue to evolve as the zoo grows um, and of course with you know beauty passes and sponsor boards all that stuff will grow as uh, as the as the zoo grows but um, it's good to finally you know kind of make some progress on that stuff many of you've been asking for it for a very long time as well because you know <laughs> since it is going to grow exponentially larger and larger with the size of the zoo it's good to stay on top of it uh and honestly i mean the reason why i'm just kind of holding this frame for a little while is because during the time lapse it almost certainly went by too quickly uh in in its sped up format but i just wanted to share like this visual uh from up on high i really like how the uh the the the, the, the way the wayfinding is working the way like the curves and stuff just there's something about this that's coming together very nicely. I, I hope y'all like it as well. But frankly, I'm really pleased with it. I really like the colors as well. I think they work very nicely together. Um, and again, I'm sure I explained the reasoning and everything during the time lapse. So I'm not going to go over that again. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty neat. In fact, you know what I might actually want to do as well is add a line down the middle. Uh, have a green line going straight down the middle. Uh, that would then attach on either side as well. That would make sense. The blue line would loop around and the yellow line would, or rather the gold line, I should say, would loop around as well. But that's all stuff that I kind of want to think about. Um, how I want to go about doing it is, but well, technically, technically, going straight down and over, is that the most efficient way? Well, I guess it's equally efficient to get to the Africa sector. Um... And again, if you're coming back from up over here, yeah, we'll probably we'll probably integrate this into the area as well. Uh, but for now, I'm quite happy with how uh, things are looking. Um, and obviously, we do have to do the ramp section as well. Uh, but before I get into that, I just want to figure out if maybe I want to adjust the uh, arrival here and the uh, quote unquote racing line that I maybe want to approach this top area with uh, as we as we you know bend into to, to get into the Africa section. But very much liking how this is all coming together. With that said, let's go ahead and hit play. See if we can't. Uh, Again, help with the, uh, the the current community challenge. And as we're doing that, there's some other stuff we want to look into as well. For example, guests are once more unhappy. So we'll, we'll take a look at that, make sure that doesn't hurt our uh, income too much. Uh, but beyond that, it's also been pointed out that it would be very wise of me to um, check in on the lions for a couple of reasons. For one, our one male... Oh, there it is. There it is. It is a complete episode. Oh, uh, God. I should stop pointing it out. Ooh, what's up over here? Oh, I know exactly what's up. Space? Yeah. I don't know why this happens. Like, it didn't happen last session. Every once in a while, every once in a while, it'll be like, nope, gotta... Gotta wiggle something around, and then they'll be happy. There we go. You guys are hungry. Let's call the keeper over. And now, let's get back on task as the sun rises. I'm so glad I paused when I did last session. We caught, I would say, like, the perfect light where things were visible, uh, but the lighting was also still active, and we could we could see it all... You know, kind of how it would look. I cannot wait until the next time the sun sets completely. Oh my god, this map is beautiful. But yeah, I can't wait until the next time the sun sets completely and we can see everything in kind of like pitch darkness. Um, and we, we, we need to do another full-on lighting pass where everything gets lit up. Uh, but, but, I was talking about the lions. Now, not only do we have the issue of this one male lion who is, are you currently mating with someone you shouldn't be mating with? Ooh, see, they're, they're rubbing necks. Even though she's on uh, contraceptives, interesting that it doesn't... Um, oh, very interesting. But yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of inbreeding potential with Sahele currently in... Uh, oh, that's a sad icon. Um, with Sahele currently the one set as the uh, 
potential father, there is, oh my god, basically, well, yeah, the vast majority of these lionesses count as inbreeding, uh, whereas if Jabulani gets brought back in, what happens then? What happens then? Still a little bit of inbreeding. Is it a lot of inbreeding? Oh, you know what? A, a fair enough bit of inbreeding, actually. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> that's a lot of inbreeding. Uh, so what I think we should do is we should probably put Se Selehe away um, temporarily, at the very least. He's getting kind of... He's getting up there. He's getting up there. 13.8 years old. That's part of the reason why I'm holding off on it. But the longer we wait, the older the, uh, the ladies here get. And that's, you know... The balancing act, I suppose. I suppose. Hmm. But we got so many of the uh, lionesses on contraceptives while our... Oh, look at that. Look at that. That's so... That's so cool. I don't think I'll ever get over them using the, uh, you know, using the, the Pride Rock Monument over here. Um, but yeah, like... Oh, it's... It, this is the tough... Co oh. Away you go. This is the tough call. Um... It, I, I like letting them live their lives to their end, you know, so we can sort of say farewell properly, if you will. Let's check Zoopedia. How, how, how long do they live until? 14 years. You know what, folks? 14 years. We're almost there. Let's give it until 14. I'll let him... Oh. Yes. Oh, cool. cool. Okay. Oh, there we go. I want to get rid of the user interface. Love it. So cool. Uh, let, let's give him until he hits 14. We're about to enter a very nice year as well. Hopefully that will result in some more baby lions uh, off of Salehe. And who can you actually mate with? I'm sure there's someone here. Yeah. Jumoke. Malkia, are you on contraceptives? No, but you sh Oh, you don't need to be. All right. Everybody else does, though. I believe everybody else is. Oh, man. It, it isn't ideal... But I'm not, you know, I'm never room in Max, or I suppose is the way to put it. Uh, we'll give him until 14, and then we'll make a decision. And, and, and then we'll make a decision. Ooh. You guys playing? No, I was wondering if we were about to see an animation that I've not seen before. That, that's that's my thinking right now. Y'all let me know if you think uh, otherwise, if you think we should instead... Oh, they were playing up over here. Damn, I missed it. Um, But uh, yeah, y'all let me know if you think I should instead hurry along and just swap the mail out. It would be... It, it's the right call, so to speak, in terms of the, um... the... Zoo, like, the, the enclosure and getting more lions happening more often, but he's so close to the end of the line, you know, it just feels bad. It feels bad. I guess that's just it. It feels bad. And, uh, and, and I'm sure y'all have been able to tell I'm very much driven by that, uh, in my approach to things. Let's get a frozen blood pumpkin over here. What's happened here is that they've had, there are so many lines here, but not enough uh, things for them to play with. Uh, with that said, actually, on the topic of there being so many lines here, how much? I keep forgetting where to check, but it's been pointed out quite accurately that a big part of our financial circumstances is probably the result of, wow, beating these lions. 26k Per year. And that's, we can tell, I was year 68 that this money was spent. That's pretty hefty. That's pretty hefty. The more lines you have, I mean, the more, you know, you're feeding, the, the more animals you have, the more mouths you have to feed, right? Um, so that's something to consider as well if you want to reduce the numbers here a little bit. I think it'd be nice to have just like maximum, man oh, go, come on, come on. Yes, yes, go for it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I've been wanting to see this for so very long. We've seen a lioness up over here, but we are are we finally about to see a lion up over here as well? Come on, keep coming here. No, 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 no. Why do you tease me like this? All right, you know what? You don't get to live to the... No, I'm joking. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, I kind of want a full full enclosure, and that way when, when we add more to Africa out over here, guests who are like over here or over here have a higher chance of seeing an animal running around. I think we can afford it just fine. Just got to keep the guests happy. That's the issue we, we really need to consider, is keeping guests happy. Now, why are you unhappy? Is there literal... Oh, protesters. What are you protesting? Why, why are you unhappy? What's wrong? Are you stuck up here? That's not who's unhappy. Where is... 
This is it's so cool to see them use the um surfaces like this. Alright. Where is our unhappy Jaguar here? Buddy, what's wrong? There you are. Ace. What? I You have access to why don't you have access to this side? Well, that's strange. Try and maybe nudge this piece a little bit. Would be the same thing as the uh, monkeys are getting. You know, these these issues are really um, the, these issues need to be fixed. Um, I don't mean in our zoo. I mean in in the game. Like, I shouldn't have to do something like that to to fix a problem that in turn has caused us financial harm. It's just, uh, it's a little, uh, it's a little unfortunate, um, but it's okay. Hopefully, hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, it just, it'll be taken care of soon. Um, over here, as y'all point out in the comments as well, I really ought to get some more female llamas in here. We just have, we, you can leave now, please, thank you. He's very happy. Get out of here. Take their time, aren't they? Um... But we only have two females to five males, and that is really not an ideal ratio. Cusco over here is infertile. He's getting really old. Let's go ahead and get at least a couple more female llamas. Um, let's go over to... Well, we got to do a couple of things. First of all... Oh, come on. 10k? That is unreasonable. This is fine. No, wait. We need a male, don't we? We need a male giant anteater, I believe. Oh, I'm glad I'm checking. Because I'm pretty sure I almost got the... Uh, the wrong sex, yeah. Adriana and then Katarina after that. We need a male giant anteater. Still nothing. Still nothing. Man. That's wild. These are really low stats, man. These are terrible stats. Let's give it uh, let's give it one more session. I mean Katarina is still super young. It's too bad we're missing out on Adriana's great genes. You know what? Okay, let me let me let me check this out. Compare mates. Compare mates if they even have kids. Oh man, that's terrible. That's really bad. Like at that point, we might as well. We might as well just wait. I wish we could see what it predicts for Katarina, but we can't. And Ka Katarina has slight well. Size is the only uh, big drop really. Everything else is okay. Fertility drops from 100 to 80 something. Like there's drops across the board, but it's still all right stats. I think I was a bit harsher uh, than than fair last session. Over here, these overlaps is just because a group was between two things. I love that that's still a problem. Over here, why are you inaccessible? You're not inaccessible. Security guard just came up over here. You are connected. We need to move these guys around a little bit. Move you over here. Move you over here. If that solves that problem, we'll keep an eye out for it. The koalas? A little bit. I need. I I know there is a koala enrichment item that looks like a tree. I will be getting that, but we have to unlock it first. Uh, maybe we just did, actually. Let me check over here. Koala. Oh, yeah, there it is. Eucalyptus tree feeder. Beautiful. Uh, like, I, I knew this was uh, one of the items. I just had to make sure that we... Um, unlocked it. I could put it right down over here. That way they are once more driven out to uh, this central point over here. So they have a reason to be over here. They have a reason to be over here to climb around and, you know, have a good time. Uh, but in the middle over here, right now we just have this uh, scent marker. If we swap it out for a feeder, not only would we have a really cool little central piece over here, uh, but we can move this out somewhere else as well. Bring them maybe closer to the edge over here. There we go. That should be good. And that maintains a sense of, you know, somewhat symmetry. Again, it is still um, vegetation. It's still trees and stuff. So symmetry only goes so far unless you're trying to build them a specific way. I wonder if... Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Cool. I like it. Um, I hope y'all do too. Uh, all right, so that's that over here. Do we have any bins actually? We have some here. We need some over here. One down there, one down here. 
again, this is going to be a whole complex or plaza or, or, or what have you. Uh, I do have to get some names in as well, though. Uh, the Sweet Fox Coffee is going to be Koala Tea, of course. They might claim to serve coffee, but they really serve tea in our headcanon. Over here as well for the... Um, hmm. My notes don't seem as updated as they should be. Feel free to bring more name suggestions in, by the way. I'll check through the comments of the previous episode again, but feel free to drop in your name suggestions again, or if you have your own, uh, for an info center, a cosmic cow milkshake, uh, a pip shot water, uh, while the chief beef number two here is going to be a qua quality quality huh huh um this this vendor was extremely happy to serve this guest i hope you had a good experience i need the loo yes yes you do and we need to get some washrooms over here so let's go ahead and duplicate you for now i'm i'm really pumped for what i want to try and do over here uh, right next to e. We can talk about renewable energy sources. We can talk about, uh, solar energy, and we can talk about biofuels. Huh? Amazing. Let's do that. That should be helpful. Uh, might even pull it on the other side or something. We'll, 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 we'll see how guests are satisfied by this addition, and if, if we need to end up, you know, adding more or not. But, uh, right. Female llamas is what I got distracted from earlier. One thing leads to another, leads to another, eh? Um, but before I look at that water treatment thing, female llama, where are we? Animal trading? Okay, first of all, exhibit trading. I'm going to go ahead and dump everything. Hold on, select all. Dump almost everything. I've got a couple of gold. Well, a lot of eastern brown snake gold rank. Have anything else that's gold rank? No, gold. Uh, yeah, we got you. How about we got you? We got you. Oh, I need to check the iguanas as well. It's been pointed out to me that it is possibly, it's possible that uh, we need a male iguana added. And I know I'm going to forget that. So let me just check here real quick. Like I said, one thing leads to another, leads to another. We have, yes, two females. Uh, so let's go ahead and get exhibit trading. Glad I was a bit more, you know, thorough with my approach over here. Send you to the zoo, bring you in over here. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get you to the trade center. It's nice to have some good quality uh, exhibit animals as well. I think it's it's a nice um, <laughs> change of pace to what we were doing previously, which is just like, ah, oh, whatever, they're just money makers. Um, right, animal trading. Finally, it's about to happen, folks. It's about to happen. No, no one worthwhile over here. Nope, nothing. All right. Um, we're looking for llamas. Llama, llama, llama. Llama. There we go. Wow. Okay. Well, these are pricey. Um, really? Are you kidding me? What's going on? What is going on? Give me some female llamas. Just the one. I mean, it's, it's that case of, like, is something better than nothing? I guess it could be. Fine, let's go ahead and get, uh, let's go ahead and get you. Adopt you. First things first, not into the lion's den, but instead into the quarantine. There we go, quarantine small. Yes, please. Um, not the best animal, but, you know, hopefully through breeding and stuff, we'll, we'll get some good results. Uh, and that should help this area out. I'm overall feeling pretty good, but again, guest happiness. What's the deal over here? So again, I was talking about uh, difficulty earlier, and, and this ties into that same conversation of difficulty of like, um, oh, litter. Oh, of course. How many more bins can I place in a place? This will always be a problem, though. Uh, guests littering will always be a problem. Bin. Australia bin. On either side, because I don't know better. Put you down over here. Another one down over here. And one down over. I want to put a bin over here. Let's see if that does the trick. Let's see if that does the trick. As night falls, I want to, again, catch the lighting. But before I forget, get these do not feed signs down. 
or animals fall sick. Again, thank you all for pointing it out in the comments. It would have completely slipped my mind, or rather, it, it did completely slip my mind. Get you over there. Let's see, security. Not feed signs. Oh, that's really good coverage. What are we looking at? Over here. Yep. Make sure you're not floating like one of the coolers in the area. I need to find that cooler again. Where are we? Temperature. First of all, you are dropping the temperature way too much. 25, please. You are floating ever so slightly. There we go. Feel that more litter over here. That's this is the problem right now. Where is our staff? Caretaker from. I guess I should assign some of you to Australia. I don't know why I haven't. We can upgrade you as well. You let's go ahead and wandering right now, all the way over here. I I know I need to get some more um. Uh, staff like, uh, what's it called? Staff rooms and keeper huts and stuff more more nicely spread out as well. Definitely to get on that. Uh, but yeah, hey. Is what the uh, the pathfinding looks like when it's actually completely dark. Well, you know, as dark as uh, as the game ends to get. Really quite pleased with it. Can't wait to do a full on lighting pass as well. Uh, we're we're gonna go for that ethereal tree look as well over here, but maybe a bit more uh, toned down or or slightly differently approached. Might want to shift these a little bit, just ever so slightly, to make them go in between these. But apart from that, yeah, pretty pleased with how this is all coming together. Um. Right, where, where were we? So, do not feed signs. I feel like we need to get one more in here. Yeah, one more. I don't know about do not disturb signs. I mean, maybe. I, uh, like, I don't know if we need them. But the, uh, the animal is, like, confident with humans and stuff, so they're probably okay. Probably. But... Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm torn. I, I could I could go either way, I guess. I I could go either way. Um, also, it was pointed out to me that <laughs> these circles look a little fiery. Perhaps we could maybe use that as a uh, launching point for an education conversation. Uh, on which note, let's go ahead and take a look at education boards. Flip you around over here. So, or yeah. Something like that. Okay, let's see what it looked like. With deforestation. I'm to do it on both sides, really. I'll put you down over here. Like so. I like the idea of it. We'll, we'll patch some of these things up during um, like a time lapse. That's all good, that's all good. What are we looking at over here? Quarantine pass. Let's go ahead and move you into Llama Lane. Thank you very much. And do we, we still have an issue over here? Why are you inaccessible? What's going on over here? Let's figure this out. Get rid of you. Path path. There we go. We just had to redraw the path. Not a problem. It's all done. Glad I checked though. And hopefully this water is... Oh, this habitat must be clean now. Yep. Looks like we're good. Wonderful. Is it making us any money? Probably not too much, just quite yet. But when we go ahead and, first of all, we'll fix this up uh, and, and get stuff done over here and over here, we'll, uh, we will likely see guests coming through a lot more. I'm about to have another mating session over here. Please tell me it is an appropriate one. It is indeed. Dumoke, if you get, uh, if you get pregnant, that would be perfectly okay. Come on. Yes, beautiful. Nicely done. 14.3. I said we'd give him until 14. 14.3, still making babies. I, I don't know. It's hard to let go. I grow attached to things like this, you know? Hard for me to let go. I don't know. What do y'all think? Do we do we give him some more time, or do we call it here? Ship him out, get a replacement uh, line. Because the other thing to consider as well is that is conservation credits that we're spending that we could instead use on the uh, new animal I'm going to add um, you know, probably next session, or, or maybe, maybe maybe session after next, but that, that is something to consider, right? Um, conservation credits used 
for something else. That made it here. Always fun to catch those little animations. Uh, but yeah, it's conservation credits that could be saved for other uses. All right, things are looking pretty good. Guests are happy. Um, yeah, the litter over here must have been a big part of the problem. And the protesters as well. Money's looking good again. We went from one... We went from like 200 or something down to 160. Like 200 last session. Down to about 160 or something. Right? And then now we're back up to 175. So that's pretty good. Oh, guests are unhappy again. <sighs> Speak the devil. Guest needs. Rather negative impact. That I think is usually a bigger and more immediate um, response. There might be protesters, there might be litter somewhere. Or it might just be, yeah, other needs not being met. Oh, excuse me. Oh no, we're fine here. Oh, we're fine, we're fine. Fine. Gotta get another research spot as well, low welfare for you guys. That means many of you, I think. Cleanliness is the problem. Get Cooper over here. Something must be broken somewhere. I feel like there's like a path somewhere that's like not working properly. These guys getting stuck over here. It's been suggested that what's happening is they are... Oh, actually, it's not over here. How long were they stuck here for all of these stats to drop so significantly? Drop you down over here. Hopefully you'll... Yeah. Grab a bite and then going home. Fair enough. Give me that last little bit of money. But it's been suggested that people are sitting on these benches and then as they're getting off, they're getting stuck on that path. Uh, which is absolutely strange to me. So let's go ahead and... Hold on. I cannot put this in the middle. Even holding down control doesn't help. Holding down shift, alt, none of the buttons help. Come on. That's unfortunate. Makes for a good selfie opportunity sitting down and taking a selfie against the uh, tortoises behind you, I suppose, but... Not exactly what I was going for. We'll keep an eye out for it, see if we can't catch it again, and if it happens again next to a bench, then we'll know for fact that that's the issue, and then we can try and solve it then. Maybe the benches do face the other way, or... We'll, we'll figure we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. Uh, guests are happy again. We're at 180. Alright, things are looking good. Now, let's take a look at guest satisfaction with the ticket pricing again. Because now things have been beautified a little bit. Um, people are happier as well. So maybe they'll be willing to pay a bit more. Yeah, see, ticket price is good. I feel like... I feel like the rating plays such a big role because it's not like, I mean, okay, we added one more or a few more animals. I, I feel like the rating and happiness overall plays a big role as well. So let's go ahead and even though that just happened, let's go ahead and up the pricing. Make that money when we can. Let's go, uh, let's try, let's try 65 and 60. I know it's not necessary to have different prices. Um, actually, I have seen at times kids get upset at different pricing than the uh, parents. So I'm not sure if it is unnecessary or not. Uh, but point being, um, I like to be quote unquote realistic about that, so to speak, because tickets are expensive. Okay, okay, well let's go 55 and 50 then. See what people have to say about that. Come on, come through. Big price is fair. More people coming through. Oh, I'm so sorry, on your way out, got your balloon, my bad. Like price is fair. Okay, good stuff. People are burning up over here. Let's go ahead and get this cooling happening right when they pop in so they don't enter super unhappy. Oh, right. I forgot. I can't edit anything back there. There. You guys are having a good time. 90 degrees. That sounds fair. Good stuff. Good stuff. Now, why, why is this ride not getting as much ridership? People have been complaining about needing to walk too much. I wonder if uh, that's a big part of it. Maybe the price needs to be dropped a little bit. Because, yeah, it's getting very little traction. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe it's because people want to go that way, but this ride only goes that way. That's a possibility. We, we could experiment with a lower price. Uh, just at the entrance, let's go ahead and make the ticket price 7 bucks. I guess used to be super happy. Yeah, really cheap tickets. I guess you should be super happy. Maybe it's just where they want to go. Let's see what that price drop does for us, though. Let's see what that price drop does for us. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. How have we done for this challenge? I don't think... Ooh. Overcrowding with the Baird's tape here. 
missed that notification. Put on. Anak is pretty old, buddy. Injured as well, let's call the vet. You. Wow, really good genes, okay. But mark that. Gonna need a new mother, though. So let's go ahead and take you to the Trade Center for now. Vet's coming through to pick up Tenok. Getting very old. Real high up there. Um, but yeah, we uh, we definitely need to stay on top of that kind of stuff. That I checked. Got the fight there, same fight. So the sex ratio, which is, well, overcrowding sex ratio were the same thing, I think. Let me check here. We have a female and a male. And that's away now being checked up on by the vet so that should be good uh, let me check actually as well on you guys you guys are okay yeah you guys are okay good the deaths new animal okay good stuff good stuff conceived offspring all right nothing too wild all right great but i also want to check on this okay one more animal was added to the uh to the lot from us that's good that's good that's good I'm hoping we get some more llama babies. We'll find out by clicking on the male llamas. Okay, April of this year. No guarantees it's going to be a uh, bronze rank. Um, bronze rank baby, obviously. That's a key part of the challenge as well. Who is your mate, actually? Not you. You. Also, why is this... Come on, guys. Come on. Uh, who is your mate? Not here, but here. Not here either. Here. Atlanta. Atlanta is also no good. Yeah, he's... Well, I mean, he's, he's bronze. I guess at least there's that. Penelope is expecting offspring. Amazing. Well done. August of next year. Very soon. More vet research complete. What was that tippy-tapping going on? <laughs> It's, they're so cute in this picture. The Aldabra giant tortoise has been fully researched as well. That's great. Is this? Are you? Did you see the way the head like raised up? That was adorable. It's like just kind of chilling, and then you hear something, and you go, "What was that?" That kind of a that was that was the vibe I got from that. All right, here's our baby over here. Where is where is your baby? Is that your baby? Ah. Not bronze rank. Fair enough. More babies coming out of Remedios as well. That sounded cruder than I actually meant it to be. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, that might maybe, you know, help us out a little bit. Good stuff, good stuff. Again, just hoping to get a little bit more of a contribution into this uh, challenge. Now, money's dropping again. I mean, hey, uh, like I was saying earlier, and I think I interrupted myself, maybe it is time to remove this... Um, you know, makeshift challenge of, uh... That's largely the result of littering. <laughs> That'll still stay, though, is the thing. Though unhappy guests won't, um... Yeah, see what... Why? It's an immediate drop in guest happiness. Go ahead and hire another... Caretaker. Drop you down here. Go ahead and... Hunting bins, that's not what I need you for, buddy. I need you to clean this up. This is very urgent. There we go. Lots of damage thing. Talking about. Place that. Let's go ahead and take a look at crime. No vandalism or anything. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Another llama is about to have offspring. Come on. Give me that bronze rank. Alright, hopefully that cleanup helped. But yeah, uh, li li like like I was saying again and again. Let me know. Uh, there's the uh, pinned comment. Have your voice heard. Because uh, I do enjoy the challenge of it, but it seems of late to just be a constant situation of cleaning up litter. Uh, maybe I just need more caretakers. Maybe I just need more caretakers. Titan Town over here has had a burst of population. Go ahead and fix that up. And again, fortunately, even if we are operating at a bit of a loss, we have plenty of uh, exhibit animals now that we can distribute as well, right? We just have a new baby. Whoops. Yep. There you are. 
Another Umak? Are they are they literally both called Umak? Nope, maybe that's the one. Uh, oh, stop running! I'm gonna catch you! Get- Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're so cute. Tamiya, <laughs> um, yeah, also not, uh, bronze. Dang. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. The Moki is about to have offspring. Oh, we actually- the, the tortoises- there must have been some of the, uh, tortoises that were... Uh, bronze rank. Let's see. Might want to put them on contraceptives now, actually. We have had a lot of babies over here. Was it these guys? No, I think it was the Aldabra horses, wasn't it? Ooh, we'll rank over here. Very nice. Moke is about to have offspring as well. Not going to be an herbivore, but we can still obviously check them out. What's the deal over here? Ooh, silver on uh, Lakeisha over here. Nice. Jumoke, we got a couple of Jumokes. I'm okay with that. How about you? Oh, nice gold. Man, good stuff. Good stuff. I, again, a keeper hasn't been here in a while. I think I definitely... Yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, zoo. Staff. It's that balancing act of... Uh, I'm, I'm worried about hiring too many people and then not being able to afford them. Expecting <laughs> Habitat 22. Good stuff. Because every new addition is more... Um, more money, obviously. I want to make sure I'm not taking the wrong approach to solving problems. The uh, thing I will point out... Where'd you go, dude? Is, yeah, I think having another keeper hut... Got them over here. These This should be readily accessible. It's like up over here. Yeah, it's right here. Not too far, this keeper hut. This staff room. Not too far. That's not the problem here. Um, oh. Damn, I was going to assign them work zones. So happy at work, that's good. Uh, South America for now, we're going to go ahead and uh, as we add more animals in this corner, we're going to go ahead and uh, establish the Africa, I guess this would be West, considering I think the sun sets in this direction. Yes, it does. This would be Africa West. Uh, we'll get that established and that should really help with stuff as well. What about you, buddy? You have no work zone? Are you the other hire? Yes. Stop there. Done. Really hope that helps. At least a little bit. At least a little bit. But yeah, looks looks it's it's good to see so many of those uh new tortoises as well. We're oh look at that. Watch, these people are all complaining about the view. Look at that! I guess the view of the llama is okay from here. Are you serious? You're like you're you could have touched that llama. You could have pet that llama. You're gonna tell me the view is okay. Come on. Come on. I guess they're still kind of bummed out about something or the other, but who can tell these days? Who can tell what they're upset about? Look at this crowd, though. I've been to worse places. Gee, thanks. But yeah, this is this is this is wild. Why why is it so crowded over here? I understand they are appealing animals, and I'm not going to complain about this crowd, but this congestion is slowing down how much money we can make over here. Because folks are stuck getting in and out, and if they can't get to the donation bin as fast, then they can't donate as quickly, you know what I mean? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Well, something for us to uh, tackle maybe in the near-ish future, but folks, this is, as the sun sets, or we're going to call it a session. I had a wonderful time with this one. I'm, I'm happy to finally have a lot of these you know, systems being put into place. A lot of management stuff done today as well, uh, which was uh, much needed. Just, again, the line question remains, uh, but I am also very happy that we were able to, between these two days, establish you know a fair contribution to the, uh, to the challenge. Wasn't it at 62% when we started? So it's at 64% now. We're almost there. Hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll hit the uh, the mark. I'm among the higher contributors. Uh, I would love to see myself get thrown further and further back because that would mean that others are you know able to contribute a lot as well. But uh, but yeah, overall I think we had a good session today. We got a lot done. Uh, fixed up the uh, llama situation. Um, discussed the lion situation. Uh, and apart from that as well, I mean a couple of small things here and there. Got some more staff as well, which should help us in the long run. Next session, I'm very excited for. Not gonna say, uh, not gonna say what I have in mind for it. Um, but the next uh, ne next week should be a very, uh, very packed 
week in terms of progress uh, across the board. Um, not exactly sure how and when I'll approach what, but uh, should be fun times. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. And as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running super smoothly. Thank you very much. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.